Hello you guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Kylie. Thank you so much for being here today. Today I'm going to bring you along on a grocery shop with me and then I'm also going to show you how I plan out my meals for two people for the week. Before we get into the video, make sure you're subscribed, make sure you have the post notifications turned on, make sure you give this video a thumbs up so that shows YouTube you like this video and let's get into it. So before we go to the grocery store, I thought I would show you how I plan my grocery list and how I plan out all of the meals. Sometimes I go grocery shopping by myself. Today we're going together. It's actually a Friday. We normally do this on the weekends, but last weekend we weren't home. We were doing a lot of wedding planning and so we've just been kind of eating random stuff in the pantry and putting off going to the grocery store. It was mostly me putting off going to the grocery store, but I use my iPad mostly to put together the list and everything. And I made this template on my iPad using Procreate, but you can also find one in Canva. They have a lot of different ones for weekly meal plans, but basically this is what it looks like. And it says breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I mostly just plan out our dinners, but if there's randomly a breakfast that I want to throw in there. We usually eat the same things every day for breakfast. That's why I don't write it down. Eggs. <laughs> so yes, I will plan out our meals for each day. And then from that, I will figure out what groceries we need. But when I'm planning out the meals that we need, I have a tracker of all of the meals that we like. So there's a note in my phone titled meals we like, and that helps me kind of figure out what we want to have. So just like a few meal ideas, if you want some meal inspiration, we always love to have a taco Tuesday. If you've never met my fiance, he loves tacos. And so we always have to incorporate tacos some way or another into our meals. So taco Tuesday is a must in this house. We've recently been doing this sausage skillet, that's what it's called, and it's basically zucchini and sausage and a bunch of other vegetables, and it's pretty good. It's lower carb, and it's just, it's really filling, so we like that. And then we love having burrito bowls, which is basically, we just do like chicken breast, we do some brown rice, and then we do, it's kind of like a DIY Chipotle situation at home. So Will adds his like corn salsa to it. I'll add my habanero salsa to it. We do some cheese. So you just kind of add all the fixings that you like to it. And then I think we're gonna do like a date night next Friday. Anyways, so we plan out every single day that we are doing dinners and then I'll talk to him about it and I'll be like, are you feeling this this week? Are you feeling that? And he usually just eats whatever I make. This week, I'm forcing him to have Brussels sprouts. He's not a big fan of Brussels sprouts, but he's gonna have them this week because <laughs> I love Brussels sprouts. Comment down below how you feel about Brussels sprouts because I know it's like a hit or a miss for people. I could eat them every single day, but since we've been like rampaging the cabinets, I put some lunch stuff on my list. So as I was saying, I used Procreate to create the template. And then I use Notability to write on it. I make my list for groceries in the Reminders app. And I just have a folder called Groceries in it. This is actually a really big trip. Some trips we go and it's only like $50. But this is like, this is going to be a lot more than $50. I just wanted to briefly explain how... I kind of meal plan for us. I feel like when I don't plan and I go to the store, it gets kind of hectic and then I'm grabbing more things that I need to be grabbing. And then I'll go to make a meal for us and then realize I don't have everything that I need. So this is my list. And then it also syncs to my phone and I'm going to check all of the items in the fridge and stuff that have question marks next to because I'll do that whenever I'm making the list. So I'm just going to go check to see if we have these items and then let's head on to the store.
So we are back from the grocery store and I thought I would haul and show you what we got for two people. We spent, okay, <laughs> we spent $213.23. Wow. Okay, so this is going to last us. We planned for nine days, but if we didn't plan for that long, like it could, it could last us longer than nine days, but that's just how long we planned. And we went to Harris Teeter. That's just the place that we're familiar with. I don't want to talk any longer because honestly, I feel like this is going to be so long. We got so much food. So let's just get into it. We got these two huge packs of chicken. They were buy one, get one free. And most of the things that we got duplicates of, it's because they were like either on sale or whatnot. So that is why. But yeah, we got these two huge packs of chicken. Also, we love meat. We eat a lot of meat. So I'm sorry if you don't eat meat and you're seeing a lot of meat, but there's a ton of meat in this first portion. We also got ground turkey for our taco night. We got Italian sausage for the sausage skillet. Bacon was on sale. So I got two packs of bacon. I really like this chicken sausage so i got this for my lunches i like to have this with like broccoli so it's just the cajun style and dewy sausage and it's already fully cooked we got eggs we got two of these and there's 18 will and i have eggs literally every morning so we always have like tons of eggs in the fridge we got iced coffee for both of us because we both love iced coffee i will drink hot coffee as well but he likes duncan and i like starbucks that's just the couple that we are and then they actually didn't have will's milk that he normally gets he drinks like the horizon brand but they didn't have the specific one that he drinks so when we go to target tomorrow we'll just pick that up but i got my almond milk and then we were out of butter this isn't something we buy every week, obviously, but we got butter. And then on top of like my hot coffee, whenever I drink hot coffee, I really like to put whipped cream instead of creamer sometimes, and it was on sale. And I've been waiting for it to go on sale because it's like $5 at my grocery store. So I picked it up and it was like two for five instead of buying one for $5. And they only had one regular one and one extra creamy one no we're not gonna focus today okay so we're gonna roll with it i was like whatever i'd rather get the sale and if i don't like it well we'll eat it okay and then i got cream cheese for a dish i'm making and i always just get the third less fat because you don't notice a difference at least we don't and then two of the dishes i'm making this week require mozzarella cheese so i got two bags of that and then we really like to make his brothers like to make what's called these dad nachos and we like to make them too so we just buy this sliced white cheddar cheese it makes it a lot easier than slicing it yourself and we put it on top of the tortilla chips it's so good and something that they were out of that really makes me mad is they didn't have any jalapenos and that is like a staple in this house i always have jalapenos on hand for said dad nachos or we throw them in our eggs every morning so i always buy five jalapenos at the grocery store and they had zero so i don't know what we're gonna do but yeah i think we're heading into the produce section oh we got yogurt this is the kind i like kind of stopped eating yogurt for a while because i wouldn't eat it in time and i was just eating so much of it but I really want to get back into eating it just like as a snack or something. So I got some yogurt this time. I don't usually get yogurt right now. I was really into it like a couple months ago. And then I got two ginger shots. They were on sale and I like doing these every once in a while. Let's move on to the produce section. So Will and I really like to make Moscow mules. So we got some limes. We always like to have limes on hand. We got six of those. And then Will's been really liking avocado toast in the morning whenever i don't feel like making eggs he'll make avocado toast so he got two avocados for that 
And then we got one red bell pepper for one of the dishes I'm making. We got bananas. We honestly let these go until they get really brown and then we'll put them in the freezer for smoothies. Got blueberries. I just eat these as a snack or I'll put them in my smoothies. We got two zucchinis, which these are the smallest zucchinis I've ever seen. I don't know what's up with that. I got one yellow onion. I got one sweet potato because it's like the size of my head. Do you see this? And I thought this would be enough for Will and I to share. And then they had a sale on Brussels sprouts. So I don't think Will's going to be eating them once, but maybe twice this week. I'm so excited. And then I got shredded iceberg lettuce. I honestly love putting chicken on that and eating that for lunch. Or we can put it on our tacos this week. I got a huge thing of spinach because I put this in my smoothies and a small bag is never enough for me. I eat so much spinach, love this. And then last of our produce is these broccoli heads. I will be using these in a dish that I'm making. I love broccoli. Okay, moving on to the freezer section. We didn't get much. We usually don't buy a lot of freezer stuff, but we like to keep things in our freezer for times that like we don't want to cook something and we just need something quick. So we got edamame. We love this. We use this with the Trader Joe's chili onion crunch. It's phenomenal. So you have to try that. And it's just really easy to make. And it's better than like having it in your fridge and then like it going bad. So we'll just buy the frozen one of this. And then we have some freezer broccoli as well that we have stocked up on last week. So yeah, we do keep some like freezer vegetables on hand, but we didn't have to get like many this time because we stocked up on them last time. So we got three bags of that. So we're good for like a really long time. And then these are like a treat for me because they're expensive. They're like seven or eight dollars and I don't have these every day. I'll have them like once, twice a week because sometimes I'm just not feeling like making breakfast or I run out of time before work, but they're the Jimmy Dean egg witches. And this is the flavor that I like the most. I realized I don't like the like red box color, but yeah, I like these the most. They're really good. And I'll put some sriracha on top. Chef's kiss. Will got these blackened chicken strips for lunches. We used to get these all the time when we lived back in Arlington and they're really good. They actually like aren't too bad for you. And they have a lot of protein in them cause it's just chicken and it's just like seasoned chicken. It doesn't have like a sauce on it. So they're not too bad for you and yeah, he loves them so much. Then something that we always like to keep in our freezer is a pizza. It's a lot cheaper than buying one from like Domino's or Papa John's or something like that. And when they're on sale, we like to get them just to keep in the freezer. So if like you have friends over, I mean, obviously not right now, but like if you have friends over, it's always good to have in the freezer. Okay, moving on to like, just like pantry items. Let's just move over because they're all the way over there. Okay, so these are just some things that we needed to put in the pantry and also just things that we needed for meals this week. So back on the dad nacho conversation, these are the tortilla chips that we really like to get for nachos or just really any kind of chips and salsa. We really like the scoop functionality or like buffalo chicken dip. And they were on sale, so we got two bags. We really needed breadcrumbs. I'm making chicken parm for our date night next week, so we needed breadcrumbs. And then, for said chicken parm, we needed pasta, and Will really wanted penne, so that's what we got. And then we got these noodles. We really like these as well. We just like the shape, so yeah. And then on the pasta sauce, trend so we got this one for the chicken parm it was roasted garlic parm so we got that and then let me put you on to something here i know that it is pricey but think to yourself you want to go out to dinner have an expensive italian dinner 
and you don't want to pay for it though like you don't want to pay for the price of an expensive italian dinner here comes the sauce this sauce is everything to me yes she's nine dollars but she is so good <laughs> it tastes like you're going out to dinner at an expensive italian restaurant like you could fool someone <laughs> i'm not kidding it's so good and i will stand by it <laughs> It's my favorite one by this brand so far, and it has like chunks of meat in it. So, okay, I'm not gonna talk anymore about this red sauce, but I really recommend it. So next we got some peas. We got just these sweet peas. We really like them. These are our favorite. So we got two cans to stock the pantry with. We got some taco shells for taco night. They were on sale, so we just got two. We got some bread. We got sourdough we've been buying the bakery bread but it's kind of expensive so we're trying this one out seeing if we like it we got taco seasoning we really like the taco bell one so we got that one i got this garlic sriracha seasoning i don't think it's gonna focus but it's by weber i used to buy this in college it's so good i love it on my chicken and then we just needed brown sugar so that is everything i'm gonna go put everything away but that concludes my grocery haul grocery shopping with me i hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and i'll do another one of them and thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it make sure you subscribe and make sure you have your post notifications turned on and i will see you guys in my next video bye